Welcome to Photofind. I'm your host Kevin Yee, and this week we're going to go backstage to Manta, the roller coaster at SeaWorld. Now, we were recently invited along by uh, Rob Alvey of ThemeParkReview.com, who was hosting a dinner and a coaster event. It was a $35 upcharge event, which involved uh, an all-you-can-eat meal, alcohol, and um, a couple of surprises with the animals, a trip on uh, Turtle Track, and then uh, this backstage glimpse at Manta, and then some uh, Manta ride time. Now, it turned out the Manta ride time didn't occur. Uh, because of the weather, but we did get the backstage look at Manta, and I wanted to show you a few examples of what you can see when you get to go backstage on a tour like this. So what we're seeing off to the side here um, are infrastructure pipes and uh, filtration tanks and so forth, uh, also on this side of the, the central courtyard there, that have nothing to do with the Manta ride. They have everything to do with the uh, Manta exhibit. So there's an aquarium inside the exhibit, in this case with... Um, stingrays and so forth and it needs all of that uh, ex external um, filtration units and so forth. So you can see folks taking pictures of the riders coming in for the end of their ride and this is that last final loop uh, right before they go back into the station. We had about uh, 60, 70 people uh, turned out at this particular event. It was neat being underneath the support poles and watching Manta fly overhead and just in general getting a glimpse backstage not only the filtration stuff but as we took a trip up the stairs into the maintenance bay. So this is a maintenance bay unlike usual maintenance bays because as you see there are no tracks in the ground that's because the tracks are overhead. Manta of course is a flying coaster and so this is how they get access to the bottom part of the coaster um, and they have a way to lower things down, lower down the seats etc if they need to access the seats themselves. So we got a little bit of a walking guided tour from some of the operations folks in this um, sort of cr uh, unheated or uncooled room. It was quite hot up there actually in the summer. Uh, and there's the view out into the central courtyard. Now this part here slides if they need to move the coaster into um, back in the maintenance bay. And from there it can come straight back towards where I'm standing when that photo was taken. There's another angle of um, what the maintenance bay coaster tracks look like. Now up here they do have a board for communicating with each other about when things were last checked. Some things are done monthly, some things are done weekly, and some things are done on a daily basis. And then there's safety harnesses. Now we also took a trip um, down to the lower level of the same maintenance bay where we learned a little bit about the different kinds of wheels that they have um, and then the grease that they have to use to uh, keep everything running. And you see there are both um, polymer wheels and uh, latex wheels and this has to do with uh, the different seasons because the wheels run hot or cold in various times of the year. There are blueprints to the attraction, quite a few of them actually. Let's zoom in real quick and you'll see that uh, they have blueprints for everything and safety manuals and how to do everything. This is an interesting row. On the left side here we have all of the different kinds of wheels and there are a few different sizes as well. And then on the right side things like uh, spare parts, other other seats that they can swap in and out as necessary into the roller coaster. And then on the back wall they have all of these um, these bolts and nuts and uh, uh, it was really quite interesting to have a look backstage like that. And from there we're walking our way back out onto the onstage portion. Thanks for coming along for this one journey through the backstage of Manta, what it takes to repair that roller coaster on a daily basis. It takes a team of technicians about eight hours every night to uh, go through their safety routines. And uh, what we saw was really quite impressive. And our thanks again to Rob Alvey and ThemeParkReview.com. We will catch you next time at PhotoFinds.